What's up everybody? Welcome back. Alright man, we're hopping back into the Vanderbilt Dynasty on the PS2. Alright man, so picking up where we left off at man, let's hop right into it. This is the remaining schedule. We got number one Georgia at home, Tennessee and Maryland. We have to win two of these last three games man to make bowl eligibility. If we don't, I will consider as the head coach that this season was a failure. I don't want to do that because we had so many opportunities on so many games. The record could be completely different, but, you know, we just got to learn how to finish some of these games. Like Florida, that was a game we should have won. The Alabama game, it got away from us late. You know what I'm saying? The Auburn game, it got away from us late. Virginia, we just pretty much got blown out. So, you know, it's it's just the growing pains. And the Illinois game got away from us at the very end. So, um, it is what it is, man. But uh, let's kick this thing off with Georgia, man. Let's do it. Hey, football fans, Brad Nessler here with my partners in crime, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. The mercury will stay low today in this game between the Georgia Bulldogs and the Vanderbilt Commodores. We're excited to bring you this late season matchup between two teams in the SEC East. And here come the Commodores. The Commodores may be overmatched and could have an ugly game on their hands. Any thoughts, Kirk? Georgia comes into this football game led by their quarterback, and he's such a leader, Brad. Believe me, he won't buy into any of this pregame. We're going to blow him out, Hoopla. He's a focused competitor, and he'll be ready to play. Hey, 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 who do you think I'm picking? I got to go with Georgia. Georgia is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. He sends it off. Number 16 takes it from the six. At the 30. Player Brad, the college scouts love him. His coaches love him. We love him. Ha! But this quarterback isn't going to like him too much after this game starts. This guy is very tough in pass coverage, and the quarterback better be careful when he throws it towards this guy or else. He might be seeing the ball go the other way. Yeah, I don't think this will be the last time we talk about this kid today. Holding on the offense. He's looking to pass. Let's it fly. And he's finally shoved out at the 49. Impressive catch there to stay in bounds and pick up the first down. That's great field awareness because those are not easy catches to make. No, they're not. You have to locate the sideline, locate the ball, then make the catch. And when you have defenders running after you from all angles, it makes it all the more difficult. And Herbie, that was aggressive. And they have such a fast defense, they don't have to keep it complicated. They just let their players play. The Commodore set up in the gun. He drops back, looking, lets it go. And he has his back just wide open. And down he goes. The 25. The Commodore line up with Trips right. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped him yet. McGee with the tackle. And off up the middle. Patrick brings him down for a loss. A one-yard loss. Well, Lee, it's their first trip to the red zone today, and they haven't really done very well so far this season. Yeah, but my friend, today is a new day. Let's see if they can get it across the goal line and light up the scoreboard. Johnson with a takedown at the 16. And the Vanderbilt is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and it's right down the middle. The defense lines up with five defensive backs. Espinosa comes away with a sack. Great play. Number 12 lines up in the shotgun. First down, look at a throw. Rolling out to the right side. Rose. Incomplete pass. Vanderbilt lines up in a shotgun set. Drops back to pass. Number 12, guns it. Got him on the run at the 40. Across midfield. So the only man between him and the end zone makes the tackle. Move 32 is the single setback. Gives it off. Thompson brings him down. 
Number 12, adjust the play at the line. Pullback on the inside gives. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. Look at the throw. Looking, zips it left. He catches another. McBride tackles him. The kicker got them points on their last red zone visit. Let's see if the offense can get points this time. Got him again. He got hit hard. Spread out the defense here. Man, I like this call. Spreading out the defense near the goal line. Good call. Going to the end zone, and he gets the touchdown. Guys, the coaches have got to be happy with that one. Yeah, you know they are. Anytime a play works to perfection like that one did, you know they're smiling. Just watching this. Georgia lines up in a double tight set. Setting up play action. He unloads it, and it's caught. They'll bring him down at the 45-yard line. Number 11 is back in the gun. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Number 11, he appears to have been injured on the play. Just lines up with a shotgun set. Got him as he threw. It's tipped. It falls incomplete. The Commodore line up with a single set backfield. They give to the tailback. And he's taken down. Back to pass, under pressure. McBride comes up with a sack. Drops back to pass, looks, he throws. And he's tackled at the 34. Nice play fake. And he's gonna come up with a sack. He's in the dime. He drops back, looks, he flings it. Caught. He's tackled in the open field. Vanderbilt brings in their nickel package. Throw on first down. He's drilled as he throws, and he's all the way down to the 40s. Georgia comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Higgins still has it. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. The Bulldog line up with three wide. He's going to go for the home run to the 20. He's all the way down to the 14. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. And they hurry up to the line. You're right. Sometimes you can catch the defense napping a little bit. He looks to throw on first down. He's sacked at the 22-yard line. The Commodore line up at the nickelback. He's under pressure. Espinoza makes the sack. Georgia lines up with three receivers. He's under pressure, and he's sacked. This guy's been causing problems in the backfield all day long. And the teams are lined up to start the second half. Short kickoff. Number four, fields it at the 18, at the 40, breaks one, across midfield, at the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10, and they're going to bring this one all the way back, touchdown! Big dog, big dog, hot, hot! Gives it to the back, he's tackled at the 36, number 12, back in the gun, looks to pass, he's looking, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. The defense comes out with five defensive backs this time. He wants it all going long. Got it. The 10. Touchdown. They hooked up for the long drill. Comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Back to pass. Number 12 with a bullet. Caught. And he hits him hard at the foot. So this defensive skirmish is all over. Kirk, any final thoughts here? This is just a tough, tough loss to take. Vanderbilt walks away from this game utterly disappointed because they nearly pulled off one of the biggest upsets in school history. But you know what? I think after the initial hurt wears off, these guys will be proud of the way they played today. Folks, thanks for tuning in to our game. Our final score, Georgia 14, Vanderbilt 10. Until next time, with Kirk Herbstreet and the coach Lee Corso, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long. I just, man, unfreaking believable, man. Golly. All right, man, that's it.
14 10 and this may be the nail in the coffin man because i think maybe the season is done maybe maybe all right man let's check out the game stats man we had 16 first downs 274 total yards of offense and at the start of pretty much the second half i don't know man we just the ref helped him out with the kickoff the kick return man because he all in the way all in the way with the slow box unbelievable man then how many broke tackles he broke man i know miko hartman good because yes this is my team georgia but goodness gracious man this was just unbelievable one rushing yard out of 18 attempts 19 for 25 one touchdown 273 total yards of offense we sacked four times third down conversions were straight trash man Boy, look at that. We sacked them eight times, man. Defense did its thing, man. We just had two blown coverages at the wrong time. Not even, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say uh, special teams blown coverage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going we gonna to throw that right there. Um, then that untimely pick that I threw there at the end on that should have been touchdown drive. I got the dude to jump off sides. I snapped the ball thinking that he was off sides. Lo and behold, he wasn't. Pick. So y'all can blame that on me because once I saw that, I figured it was a free play, so I might as well just throw it. My routes, the route combo to the left that I normally throw, the flats was covered and that uh, comeback route was covered. So um, I should have took off because that uh, came into the thought process for a millisecond. But like I said, I saw the dude jump, so I figured it was a free play, but it wasn't. All right, man, but Jacob Free, he finished with 166.6 QB rating, 20 for 26, 286 yards, one touchdown. Man, I'm proud of that boy, man, because... Man, he was making some throws, and the receivers was actually catching the ball. Now, they did drop a few, but, you know, it wasn't too bad. Um, Jamari Wakefield, 10 attempts, 25 yards. Receiving, Liscom had 113. Tennyson had 62. Pierce had 39. Wakefield had 50 at the backfield. Winrow had two, 22. He had that one big drop, which was unbelievable. Um, one pancake, awesome. Defense, my man John Espinosa with 26 helmet stickers on the season. This boy has been balling since he came onto the team during the off season. Man, as a JUCO, led the team with seven tackles, six for a loss, six sacks. I think they said he tied the NCAA record for sacks in the game. Uh, Josh Smith, my other linebacker, he had four tackles, two for a loss with two sacks. And I know we got a pick. And Freeman. Freeman coming alone, y'all. Freeman coming alone. Remember, this was the free safety that we had that was just getting beat on man coverage like he stole something. So uh, he got eight helmet stickers on the season. He got another pick for himself, so I'm expecting some big things from him next season. Look at Georgia. All right, uh, McBride, he had seven tackles on the day, two sacks. J.R. Reed had six tackles, two for a loss. DeAndre Baker had five. Tariq McGee, he had four in that one pick. So, yeah, they was balling. But, see, that's where we need to get right there, y'all. Right there. Pancakes. That's what we need to get, man. That's what we need to get. Other than that, Miko Hartman, he SEC first in wide receiver. Uh, he had five receptions for 139 yards. Isaac Nauta, he had two receptions for eight yards. We pretty much kept everybody in check. Terry God, when he got loose with one um, rushing. Michael Cole, he had 12 yards. Uh, we did uh, put Jacob, uh, Jake Fromm out the game for two weeks. I ain't want to, but uh, it is what it is. <laughs> so, yeah, man, that's going to wrap this one up. 14-10, we drop another SEC East game. Um, so, hope 
Hope y'all enjoyed it. Till next time, peace.